I just want to say welcome everyone and as we can see people are coming in to the to the room here on zoom we are also live on facebook on our uh, business page for some reason i think because the group page is private that could be why i'm not able to share it with the the group so if my team can just let the group know that we are live and make sure that they've got all the links to be able to, to listen to the event uh, webcast today that we have because it's going to be very informative and also I want them to be able to, to hear about what is being taught today. So this is a webcast and I'm Christine Blackledge Crow and I help uh, organizations to uh, be able to have their healthcare business, whether they've started or whether they've just, um, you know, stuck, feeling a bit stuck. And I don't like to use the word stuck, but, you know, just getting to the next um, barrier, for example, in their healthcare business. So today I'm going to talk about, just roll my sleeves up a bit, how to create a 12 month plan for applying for. NHS and private sector contracts, because it's really important you as the business owner that you are able to, you can't hear anything, okay. Hi everyone, can, I just wanna check to make sure that everyone can hear me fine. You can just type in the chat box that you can hear me. Okay, so you can hear me. So, I've got my mic on, so someone's just said they can hear me. You can just let me know you can hear me. Yes, so people are responding and saying they can hear me fine. Excellent, wonderful, so I'll carry on. Maybe you got your mic on, on mute. Okay, so uh, welcome. This is about learning how to create a 12 month plan for your healthcare business, because it's important that as a, a business owner, as a care provider, that you are able to know what um, plans that you're, you've got for your business, what's the 12 month plan? You know, where is it do you wanna be in, where do you wanna be in 12 months? That's so important. What is the turnover that you want to make in 12 months? And then you looking at how you're going to reach that target what needs to be in place in order for you to reach that target because you could be starting out, for example. So you're then looking at, okay, I need to set the business up, then I need to look at what my turnover is going to be, for example, 290,000 in the first year, for example. I'm just giving some examples here. And if you are a seasoned care provider, you may be at the level of where you're reaching seven figures, but you just can't seem to get past that obstacle, that hurdle, or maybe you're halfway through. So each time you go through these um, phases in your business, there's always going to be another level, a new type of learning that you've got to do as a business owner. So wherever you are, you're still going to be looking at how you're going to get to that next level in your business and sometimes it can be difficult because you're looking at uh, recruiting staff you've got your administration that you're dealing with there's all types of different aspects as a business owner you've got to be thinking okay right so i need to be able to have these things in place and it needs to be able to work effectively so depending on where you are in your business journey you could be just starting out where it's just you as the provider and you're wearing many hats, for example, you're starting out, you're doing the administration, you're doing phone calls, you're applying for contracts. What contracts do you apply for, for example? Um, you may not have staff members in your office, so you're wearing many, many hats. You're even possibly going out covering the care as well. So that's like your first stage when you're just setting up, when you're going into your, your third, you know, your third month, for example, or your fourth month, depends how fast you tend to work. 
then there's going to be that next level. You've got hours, you need more staff. Then you've got to think about what office staff do you need in your business to be able to, to expand. So then you're thinking, okay, I've got 500 hours. Between 500 hours and 1,000 hours, I need to get some more admin staff because you want to be able to grow the business. So you need to think about all of these things when you are starting out in your business. Then when you're in the second phase of your business where you've got hours that you want, you've got staff members, and you've then got to think, okay, I need a care coordinator or an admin staff. I need someone to be able to make calls unless you're the one that's going to be doing the calls. I need someone to go out and deliver the care. So you need more healthcare workers or nurses, for example, to be able to go out and deliver the care so that you can then invoice. So that's a, a whole nother level. Then you're going into like your third section where you're gonna need a manager in place or a supervisor. You know, someone that's is, uh, got supervisory management experience, you could look at taking them on rather than looking at getting a manager in that's going to charge you more, for example, because you're just starting out. Then you're at that other level where you're reaching the 750 to 1 million mark in your business. So then you've got to think, okay, how many team members do I need to be able to create this income of 750,000 to uh, 1 million, for example? So you're going to need manager, you're going to need your social media team, you're going to need your assistants to help you with your paperwork. You're going to need uh, your salesperson, for example. You're going to need all these different things, your compliance manager, your registered manager, if you're doing home care. Maybe you're not because you don't need to run a recruitment care agency with a registered manager because you're providing care to care homes and NHS hospitals. So therefore you don't need to be registered with the Care Quality Commission because the homes, the care homes and the NHS hospitals are already registered with the Care Quality Commission. So what is your 12 month plan for your business? Now I've just mentioned like four stages. So how are you going to get the work in to be able to get to that level? You've got to think about what types of contracts do you want to apply for? And a lot of people, a lot of providers, as well as recruitment, they tend to be fixed in one tunnel, for example, like recruiters are uh, recruitment care agencies and stuff with just getting nurses, healthcare workers into care homes and NHS hospitals. And then that's it. That's as far as they grow to. But there's other avenues. The same for home care agencies where they're dom care, for example, domiciliary. They're just focused purely on domiciliary. You know, this is where you will get to multiple figures and build your business, providing that you've mastered one section and you do additional one. So rather than be stuck in one place, i.e. recruitment or home care, why not combine the two together? And then that's how you will have a scalable business. Now, I've explained to you just briefly about the different stages and how you can create the income for your healthcare business. But there's also different types of contracts, different types of organizations that you want to contract with. And this is how you build your 12 month plan. You know, I'm not saying that you do, you know, you. You don't want to be an octopus. You don't want to be trying to do everything 
at the same time because it's not going to work. So you want to do stage by stage. Okay, you want to do month by month. So month one, care homes, for example. Month two, NHS hospitals, for example. Month three, you want to look at um, getting registered with the Care Quality Commission, for example. And then you're doing home care, for example. Then what other types of contracts can you get? You're building a list of a 12 month plan. You can look at working with uh, CCGs, for example. You can look at private clients, for example. Do you understand what I mean? So now you're building a 12 month plan because a lot of people just keep focused on, on one thing. And then you then get as far as you can get with that. And then you, you haven't got any other ways of thinking about getting money in for your business. So you wanna be able to have multiple streams of income to be able to A, uh, be sustainable and to grow your business to where you want it to be. Um, for example, you could even go into being international as well. Look at the international recruitment, um, you know, what's happening there as well. You could look at recruiting nurses from abroad to organizations and say, right, okay, my six month plan is I'm going to do permanent recruitment. Or you may want to do it the other way around, it's up to you, where you're placing staff. Um, permanently with organizations like the NHS, like the care homes. Look at the long-term relationship with the organizations. What can you do for them from start to finish? Okay, don't just think, oh, I'm just gonna do temporary. Okay, so you've got temporary staff, you've got permanent staff that you want to place to get contracts with. So. You can build your 12 month plan that way. Okay, there's private sector and there's NHS. There's the military of defense, for example, cabinet office. What types of staff members are you going to provide? There's healthcare workers, there's support workers, for example, there's nurses, there's social workers what type of staff members you want to think about anything that is related to care you can provide staff members teaching assistants special education teachers so build that 12 month plan i hope that's uh, made sense good i'm glad you can hear me excellent so I will continue. So please do make notes, write things down, because when you write things down, you will take more action rather than just listening to what I'm, I've got to say here. Write things down. It will sink in better for you. You know, will you be providing specialist services, complex care, mental health service, for example? Will you be looking after vulnerable elderly people, for example? Adults, what types of organizations do you want to work with? The list is, is end, endless, but you need to create a 12 month plan so that you keep focused as well. So what, who is this for? I'll just drink my water. So this is for all care providers who are looking to secure NHS, government and private sector contracts. But you're not sure about how all of this can be achieved or you don't feel like you've got the time to figure it out for yourself. Now you need to create a spreadsheet and do a month by month, 12 month plan. We're, we're in July already, we're halfway through the year. And 
you know, the time goes so fast. So create a 12 month action plan from July to July, 2023. You know, talk, you know, think about what I've just said to you and then you can create, okay, you can say, right, July, well, actually, we're now coming up to August. So you can say, right, August, I'm gonna do temporary placement, for example. Then September, we're going to do permanent. Then we're looking at October, NHS contract. Then November, private sector contract. Then December, home care contract. Because you, you would have registered with CQC, for example, because as you know, not as you know, not everyone knows this. Um, to register with CQC, it takes up to three months to register. So try and create a plan of what it is that you want in 12 months. What do you want to happen in 12 months' time? Then you've created that vision for your organization and you will have a stronger chance of making it happen. But you do have to action things. Okay, so bear that in mind. So by creating a plan of action with structures and systems that can automate your tendering for contracts. I'll, I can show you how you can build a 12 month plan. And you don't wanna miss out on any contract for your healthcare business. If you use the 12 month contract manager calendar submission template, I will give that as a free gift. And I'm telling you now, as a free gift, my team will be, um, if you reach out to my team, uh, they will reach out to you. Uh, my team have uh, our logos on, for example, so they will reach out to you and they will be able to give you a free copy for being here today. So we will also give you a free video of this video. So you will get a copy of this video and a copy of the 12 month contracts manager submission template. And that's a free gift from, from us to you. So we, and um, we are the Care Providers University, for example, the University of Care Providers is our main function is to create products so that people are able to learn about how they can create a healthcare business. And there's various types of healthcare businesses, which I won't go into uh, today. That is another training program. But it's about you know learning about how to run a healthcare business, how to set up a healthcare business, how to scale a healthcare business. That is my, my vision and my, my mission is to, to change people's lives, for example. And we have uh, we've taken on coaches as well to enable us to be able to reach more people. And we are international, we are global. We are in the UK, we're in Cyprus, we're uh, in America as well. And we want to be in Africa, we want to be in the Caribbean, for example. This is what we, what our aims and objectives are. So you need to build a 12 month healthcare contract wealth plan. And this is what we, what I call the new um, systems that I have in place, because I think it's important that as a healthcare provider, it's not just about setting up, getting an office and getting all the nice furniture in and then sitting there, you've got the phone there, you're looking at the phone, it's not ringing. So you've got to make sure that you're working on your business every single day. Some of you are working, but you can still work on your business outside of your working hours. I'm not saying neglect your family or anything. It's about work-life balance. And you have to be able to create
create times that you're going to be able to work on your business. And this is why you would need to have a 12 month healthcare contract wealth plan because you need money to be able to pay your staff members and to be able to pay your business expenses, for example. So like I said, our team will be reaching out to everyone and uh, they will be the ones handing out the wealth plan because you've got to seriously be able to have these structures in place in order to scale your business and, and we're living in such a fortunate age now where we've got automation we've got systems in place and this is what we are now training in our boot camp so those that are uh, registered for the September boot camp will get the get to know about these automation systems and be able to implement them during the September boot camp that we have. So it's important to have marketing scaling systems with contracts. You've got to have these things in place in order for your business to be a success. Like I said, your fortunate now to be doing a healthcare business because it's a lot more it's not care's not easy it's not easy i'm not pretending that it's easy i'm not saying it's a, a get rich quick scheme because it's not it is hard work however why make it harder when you can actually have systems in place that can automate a lot of the processes so you as the director can then work on your business as the CEO. You can work on your business, not in your business. Okay. This is what this scaling system is all about. Number one, you need to have your marketing in place. And I hope that people are taking notes here. What marketing are you doing for your business? You've got your phone calls, you've got your emails, but what other marketing can you do for your business social media for example is very very good adverts for example is another way as well but there's also you've got your team members that can create systems to automate your marketing for your business because when you're looking at approaching organizations a you need to obviously have the right uh, templates, for example, to make them want to listen to what you've got to say. You need to have all of these things in conjunction with your business model because you need to be able to get sales. So, what locations are you going to operate in? Will you be national or will you be in a certain location and cover that area first? And maybe you may have a 12 month plan that you're going to branch out, but create a radius to begin with. And if you are already in one location then, and your business is, is strong, then look at branching out into another area, another location. So what is your geographical location? Who are your target audience? What age group are they, for example? So who are you market to? You'll need to have scaling systems in place. And that means you having your software, you've got your staff members, you've got your team to support you with your scaling business because you want to scale your business. You don't want to be stagnant with just you, for example. You want to build your business and have a team in your office. Yes, you've got staff members out on the field but you need to have staff in your office or remotely remote workers are just as good as having someone in the office if not it's cheaper for you you don't have to have an office if you're doing a recruitment care agency for example you can have staff workers 
working remotely. So then you haven't got to pay out all of these things and your business can scale to a higher level. They'll be happy because they're at home rather than coming into the office every day. You know, and also there's staff sicknesses and more when people mix. We all know the situation with the pandemic, what happened, and it's still people are still getting sick. So, you know, you want to look at what scalable systems you can have. Number three, you're going to need contracts. And like I said, what type of contracts are you going to have? NHS, private sector, for example like I mentioned previously in the beginning of this presentation. So you need to have that on your spreadsheet. And I hope that everyone is writing this down and you're gonna create a spreadsheet of what it is that you need to do. Because like I'm speaking here, I'm giving you some really good nuggets. So I want to, you to be able to create this. Although you're going to get the spreadsheet, Although you're going to get the uh, spreadsheet, it's good for you to start writing things down. So what contracts will you do? There's various types of software. Software where you can roll to your staff, roster your staff members, it does the payroll, it does timesheets, for example, but also it can send text messages out, for example. It's just the press of a button. You can also look for staff members. You can actually recruit staff members through software, for example, just by pressing a button. And then they're the ones that are applying to you, they're coming to you. However, it's good to have scalable staff members that can help you with you know, the recruitment process. You know, you don't have to have a, a recruiter. You can actually have an assistant to help you with your paperwork, for example. But onto the contract, again, like I said, you're going to, what is your 12 month plan? I mentioned what types of contracts do you want to get? And who, who with? Is it NHS? Is it the government, council councils? You know, the list is endless, the schools, for example. So think about those types of contracts that you want to have in that 12 month period. Think about what your turnover is going to be in that 12 month period, because that is going to obviously be your driving force for your organization. You're gonna start off small if you've just started, but maybe you, have started and you're a medium sized organization, 500K plus, for example. But you could also be the type that's at 750 to 1 million, or you could be earning a turnover 4 million in your business. But how do you scale to, to eight figures if you're a seven figure care provider, for example? There's healthcare technology contracts. Make a list of contracts, do a 12 month plan of the types of contracts that you want to apply for. Scale your business with having a remote team. You don't need to have staff members in the office. Staff can work remotely, but get the ones that know what they're doing for that type of job that you want them to do. So you need a remote team, not need, but I'd recommend a remote team of staff members to scale your business. You need automations within your business to be able to scale because you can't do things manually, you can't do it the hard way. And you can't have one staff member doing everything. So each staff member needs to be allocated a certain role and be happy in that role and be competent 
to be able to do that role, just like the compliance that you have for the nurses and the healthcare workers should still be the same for the staff members. They will help with your organization, but what other automations can you have? There's software. There's um, emails that can go out instantly via a press of a button, for example. There's lots of ways to automate things. You also need the technologies like the software, the, the uh, metaverse that we're all hearing all the time. Metaverse technologies is good as well. So this is another list that you have to think about. What, what can you do to systemize everything? What is easier for you to do? Because you want to be able to, to have business quality of life. You want to be able to spend time doing what you want to do, with it, whether that's with family, friends, for example. You know, it's good to think about these things and what type of technologies that you can have in place is going to help you to scale your business. And be compliant as well on the metaverse, you know, GDPR compliant. Cyber security. So what you want to do is create monthly reports. How is the company doing? Now, I've mentioned a few things in the previous slide, which I hope that you're writing down, for example. But what is the operations that you do within your business? That needs to be put into a spreadsheet, for example. Think about that. Your staff members, your remote staff members, your contracts that you've got, your sales, your company's vision, is it still on track, for example? You've got to look at the revenue that you're generating is there anything that you need to be aware of in your company that's not working as good as what it should have been so creating that 12 month plan then you want to create a monthly plan to make sure that you actually reach in the targets that you've set out in your 12 month plan so creating monthly reports is vital to your organization and having those meetings. You've got your meetings, which you need to do weekly. There's meetings which you need to do daily just to make sure that the team are able to implement what the company's vision is and that they're not struggling with anything, for example, and that, and that it's working. You know, you've got to think about doing weekly meeting you know are we on target for the week about what we've been talking about so if you're doing uh, daily meetings which you should do with your team and i know it may seem oh my goodness it's such a long thing that but spend 15 to 30 minutes a day talking to the team members to see how things are going so that you're looking at what the target is at the end of the week, then you have a, a weekly meeting to say, yes, we're on target. That's really worked well, excellent, well done. You know, congratulate them. Yeah, so there's that. There's the monthly meetings, like I said, and then there's the quarterly, and then there's the twice a year, for example. So you've got to build that plan around the contracts that you've applied for, and what's happening with those contracts, because sometimes contracts take months to come through, even though you've uh, got notification that you've got a contract, not all of them are instant. So sometimes you have to wait for the legal team to sort out the paperwork, for example. So create your monthly report. 
what is your company's operations now? Everything that is to do with your company, you know, what is it? Your software, compliance, like I said, your staff members. How many staff members do you want to recruit on a monthly basis? Are you on target with that? Because remember, you, you've got the company's turnover that you want to achieve. But the staff members are going to need to be able to deliver that product in order for you to, to be paid, for example. So what operations do you have in your organization? Are you on target? What uh, jobs are staff members doing? What is it that you're planning on doing next, for example? Are they um, any... Uh, Quality assurance, for example, what is your KPI? All of these things make the operations so that you're working towards the organization's goals and the mission and the vision for the company so that everybody is on track and everyone is happy. You want a happy team. And can everyone hear what I'm saying? Hope you can. If you can type yes, that would be great. So what about the leads, phone calls, the emails? You're going to need to be able to fit. I'm glad that you can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, maybe uh, the person's uh, maybe on mute. For example, why they can't hear me. I'm not sure why. And so what phone calls, what leads do you have coming in? Because you, even though you've got phone calls, you still got emails that you need to send out to follow up on those leads. And you don't just stop. You don't just do it once. You've got to do it over and over again. Uh, like I said in my YouTube video, for example, that you, sometimes it takes five times up to five times for someone to do business with you and that is that's a fact so you can't just sort of do it once and then give up you've got to keep pushing because someone will say yes like colonel sanders in uh, kfc we all know kfc it took him 1009 no's before someone said yes and if he gave up, we wouldn't have, he wouldn't have left a legacy and we would not have known about KFC. You know, so just think about that. You've got to keep focused and work on your business for at least two hours a day sourcing contracts. Then you then should be applying for contracts every single month so that in the end, you would have applied for a minimum of 12 contracts a year. Now, I don't know if there's any service providers here, any care providers here, but how many contracts, and I'm asking you, how many contracts have you applied for in one year as an organization? And that is something which, you know, a lot of providers aren't doing. They're not applying for multiple contracts. They apply for one and then they then stop because they're trying to service that contract. But that contract is, uh, it, you've achieved it, you've got staff members there, then you need to look at what is the next contract that you can apply for. And you should never stop applying for contracts because a contract can be snatched away from you. So you've always got to keep, like replenishing your staff members, you've got to keep doing uh, recruitment every single week. Put an advert out, you've got to recruit every single week because people come, people go, for example. Same with the contracts, you've got to keep applying for contracts. You've got to keep sourcing for contracts so that your staff members that you're taking on have got constant work coming in. And then you just keep recruiting staff members.
So what are your targets? Do you want to earn 290,000 for the year? Is it 500,000 for the year? Is it 1 million for the year? Is it 3 million to 5 million for the year? What is your target? Is it 10 million? Because we have different programs which whereby we're helping organizations to get to multiple figures, for example. So five figure, six figure, seven figure, eight figure programs that we have. So what is your target? Because you've got to look at what it is that you want to earn for the company, but also look at who, who are your clients and where will you get them from? So what contract types are you looking to get? Now, I did discuss earlier about the types of contract types like NHS, care home, private sector, for example, um, do embassies, you can do schools. The list is endless. You want to create 12 types of contracts that you want to apply for. And then work for that in that 12 month period. Because if you've got a plan, you'll be able to then know what you're working towards, and then you, you'll, you'll have a stronger chance of getting that contract. And then you'll end up with multiple contracts in your year, you know, the 12 month plan. You'll be looking at least getting, say, for example, six of those contracts. And it doesn't matter where some will be the, the um, charge that you would get as a company. Some of the rates will be less than what you would get for another type of contract. But it's all about volume. It's all about um, cost. And it's about creating multiple streams of income so that that then creates a stronger um, benefit for, for the organization and the staff members that you have will also be happy because they've got work. So you, you know you need to think about what type of um, contract are you going to, to have. So create that 12 month list. Some of you may want to do two in one month, apply for two contracts, especially if you've got multiple directors, then there's no reason why uh, the other one can't look at applying as well. And I always say to people to do subcontracting. If you're just starting out, do some subcontracting so that you can then get references for your organization to then be able to apply for, for bigger contracts, for example. So there's lots of organizations out there that have got contracts, been awarded contracts that you can look at approaching to do subcontracting with. And then they can then give you a reference so that when you apply, for those big contracts, you can then say, I have uh, delivered a service, I have provided uh, staff members to an organization, for example, and what that type of work was that the staff member delivered, or maybe they're self employed, it all depends. So think about the types of contracts you are according to where you are in your business, whether you're a beginner whether you're in the middle and whether you're in the, the um, higher. So you need to create a 12 month plan uh, for contracts. And like I said, free gift from me and the team is the 12 month wealth plan. And I've added some additional things on as well. So when you get the video, 
which will be tomorrow. The contract plan will also be tomorrow. My team are um, here online as well to be able to direct you and to provide you with the free gift as well. And I really want you to work on this because I think it's important that you realize and, and understand what type of contract do you really want to have for your organization and have a 12 month plan for the types of contracts that you're going to be applying for. And I'm happy to announce that we are doing a free prize draw in a week's time, which is August the 4th at 7 p.m. Uh, my team will be uh, putting the links into the, the chat box uh, because it should be going live now. Uh, so it is. Yes, yeah, so it's live now on Eventbrite and also on Facebook. The free prize draw, I'm really excited about this because I, I haven't done this before. You get to win four weeks free coaching with me, one-to-one -one coaching. It's valued at 2,000 pounds. Yep, the link is in the chat box. So I'm just going to share it just in case people can't see, but our team is also there to get you registered. So our team will reach out to you to get you registered for the free prize draw. Uh, the winner will be announced on the 4th of August. And I'm really, really excited. You get one-to-one -one coaching with me and it's gonna be transformational for you because you're going to be coached by me and I will help you whatever stage you are in your business, whether you're beginner, middle or high end, for example, I can coach you for four weeks and help you to transform from where you are to, you know, to get you into to the scaling model for your business. So I'm just going to let you just look at the screen for a moment. So, like I said, the prize draw will be August the 4th at 7 p.m. And we will announce the winner like I am here today. It will be live and we'll, we'll announce the winner. And then the winner can then get started the following week. I'm really excited because I, I haven't done this before. So this is a free prize draw that those that enter and then I will choose, well, not me choose, I'll get uh, some sort of system where I can choose and then just pick the names out from the attendees that have registered as well. Let me just have a look here. Bear with me. Um, can my team just check the the link? Uh, Ashley. Oh, so hi. I'm checking right now. Okay. Is it live? It should be on the Facebook page. Yeah, bear with me while I have a look. Mm -hmm. You go into Eventbrite to see if it's live. Or make it live. Uh, this is preview. Preview it says here. Yeah. 
I'm going to click the link to see what I can Bear with me, I'm just going to stop share for a moment. Right, let me just... Bear with me, everyone. The event is live, it's just um, got the wrong link. So I'm going to push yeah. the correct link here. Thank you. Go back to my share. And the link is there. Right, so can everyone grab the link to register? And my team, can you reach out to, to the attendees and uh, get them registered as well? Uh, just to, to help them out as well, because I think that would be good. So I'm really excited. It is also on Facebook page on the event, as well as on Eventbrite as well. So please do register, because like I said, you're getting to win four weeks free transformational coaching. And that's one-to-one -one with me. Excellent. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. So I'm just going to quickly show you the page. Just find this link again first, and I'm going to click it. It's now up now. Hopefully you can see this. So this is the uh, prize draw. get four weeks one-to-one -one business coaching you just and then winner on this day as well join this time and what is it about okay so i'm just going to read this out to you it says how would you like to build your business build a plan of action increase your knowledge scale your business or get contracts for your company. Okay, so there's different levels according to who you are, who I'm coaching, for example, for free. Okay, we're so excited and I'm excited to announce that we are giving away and one lucky person, business owner, care provider, will be given the opportunity to win four weeks free one-to-one -one business coaching. And this will be online. The winner will be announced on the day and it will be four weeks of free business coaching with one of our experts, which will be me, for example. And this includes the action plan, contracts management, mindset, and much, much more. So to be in the running, you need to be able to register quickly to enter, okay? 
and the draw will be closing at 12 noon on the day of the prize draw. Because it's really going to help someone. And I want you to, to be able to develop your business where you want it to, to go to, okay? So do get registered. Uh, like I said, it will be on Facebook Live as well as Eventbrite. Um, and it will be on August the 4th at 7 p.m. It will be live. So just some of our testimonials here from our clients. And we've just created the, we've just done the um, NHS bidding uh, program, the 90 days program. Uh, we're in week three. And the, one of the, uh, care providers was able to get a contract after only two weeks of attending the NHS bidding program that we offer. Definitely, yes, subscribe to our YouTube channel. The link is in the chat box as well. And I'll just see, just make sure that you can see what I'm saying here. Just do that so it's going to everyone as well. Okay, so do subscribe to our channel. Register for the event. This is the YouTube channel. Um, we're at 911, I believe. We want to get to 1,000. You know, I'm really excited. I want to get to 1,000. But the YouTube channel is about, you know, educating care providers as well as uh, new people about different aspects of healthcare businesses and different systems that you need to have in place in order for it to be successful and scalable as well. So do subscribe. We've also got our Facebook group here and we'd love you to to join our Facebook group. It is, the Facebook group is for care providers. Uh, whether you want to start a healthcare business, that's fine, but you need to let us know because we're not gonna just accept anyone into the group. You have to be a care provider or wanting to be a care provider and answer the questions because we don't wanna just accept anybody in without answering the questions. Okay, so I'll just show you the Facebook page. I don't think I'll be able to show it to you actually. Uh, this is the uh, this is the business page. We've got uh, just over 8,000 um, likes as well as uh, followers as well. And then I'll just show you the page. That we have, uh, we started it. I think it's we're going on to our really, really important. We put really good content on there as well, and you know we'd love for you to join. If you're a care provider, healthcare provider, then join us. Recruitment agency, join us. You know, but we need to know. You know. Are you serious? Because there's no point just joining a group and you're not going to be interactive. We want interaction. We want you to all uh, be, you know, active in the, the group as well. 
So I'll just go back to my presentation here. Like I said, uh, uh, registration is now open for the prize draw. I'm going to draw it on the 4th of August. I'm really excited. Like I said, this is about uh, coaching free, free coaching, which is worth £2,000. And it's four weeks of coaching, one on one for one hour a week you will get laser coaching and it will be super effective for you as well. So we'll look for the lucky winner on the 4th of August, 7 p.m. That's when the registration will be um, done. But we'll also be looking at doing the draw on the 4th of April. So registration is open now. The draw will take place on the 4th of August at 7 p.m. The registration page closes at 12 noon. So do get registered because I'd love for you to be the lucky winner. I'd like you all to book a free 15 minute consultation with me so that I can go through with you about your, your business and to help you in terms of any questions that you may have in your healthcare business, whether you started or not started, but also we've got programs that's suitable for everyone. And like I just said, we just um, we've got the NHS bidding program, the 90-day program, and we're in our third week next week. Like I said, uh, one of the care providers after two weeks was able to get two, you know, two good contracts for example so you know if you take action then you can you can certainly uh, benefit from learning about how to get your own contract you know i'm here to i'm, I'm about teaching a man to fish the fish for a lifetime or woman for example you know when you're able to apply for things yourself contracts yourself and you you're learning how to do it with my guidance and training and support, then you know, you'll be able to, to do it yourself. And the aim of the 90 day program is that you apply for contracts every single month. So that every week you are looking and applying for contracts and submitting tenders, answering tender questions, etc. So do book your free 15 minute consultation with us. Join our Facebook group. You'll get some tips in there, very good information. Uh, the same as in the YouTube channel as well. Uh, like our business page, like I said, we've got 8.2 thousand likes, followers as well. And who here wants an app? And type yes in the chat box. Type yes, so that we know, so my team can see as well, this is free, not costing you anything. Excellent. Yes, yes, excellent. Yes, excellent. Oh, hi, Marcia. <laughs> hi, Marcia. Hello. <laughs> uh, Doreen, yes. Yes. Aja, Claire, yes. Uh, Mateo, hi. Hello. How are you? Kathy, yes. Excellent. Wonderful. Oh, that's so nice to see some familiar people here. Anthony, hi, good afternoon, good evening. Yes, excellent, excellent. So just keep saying yes in the chat box so that my team can make a note and reach out to you. Good evening. Hi, favored, hello. Sarah, yes, excellent, wonderful. 
this is this is the important thing that we it's a missing jo uh, jigsaw puzzle you know we just rush into something yeah we're going to do this yeah we're going to do it but you then sit in there in your office you've got your telephone you've got your nice fancy desk you've got your paperwork you've got your laptop and then crickets why it doesn't need to be this way and this is why i'm doing this so that you can create your action plan for your business because if you don't create an action plan or action plans then how are you going to build your business where do you know how do you know where you're going to go to that's the thing how big you want to build your business you know not everyone wants to be big i understand that you know some people just want to be comfortable but you can still be comfortable and have a scalable business providing that you've got the right systems in place and the right structures in place as well and this is what i want for for everybody is to be able to to embrace this new new uh, world that we live in in you know, the, the metaverse, the, you know, the online systems, you can work from home, you don't have to go, go into an office or, or whatever, you know, you can work from home, and then just go out when you've got, you know, calls to do, etc. You know, that's so, so, so important. Good evening, Evelyn. Hi. <laughs> Excellent. So I want you to be able to think about what is your wealth guide? What is your plan for 2022, 2023? You know, we're now, like I said, halfway in the year. I am gonna do, how did you know that? You must have known that, Ayan. I am going to do, this is all part of the training that I'm doing, the new training for the uh, boot camp. We've got the September boot camp coming up, and we are covering so much more in the September boot camp. It's a new, updated boot camp. So I hope those that are here that have registered for the boot camp are able to attend the one in September because, you know, I, I want to get a, another guest on as well. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, wonderful. So, Alu, you just, uh, you doing the 90 day as well. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, Ayan. You're on the 12 week. Excellent. Oh, yes, it's going to be in there as well. <laughs> You're you're really in for a massive, massive, massive treat. The, the ones that are on the NHS bidding, they're in for a massive, massive treat. We've only just scratched the surface. Now, I know that uh, we do have some people here, but I don't know whether they want to uh, type in how they've found it so far in the 12-week NHS bidding program, because I don't want to call anyone out. You know, because this is live it's on Facebook as well as we're on Zoom. Comments can't be seen, but I, you know, obviously I wouldn't want to call anyone out. But you know, we are, you know, the the NHS bid in the twelve week program is amazing. It is amazing, and what we are offering is scalable, but also consistent way of generating revenue for your company you've got to do that you can't just you know sit in your office and then say oh it's not working it's not working possibly because you're not working on your business you may be doing a, a little bit of this and a little bit of that but it's not gonna it's a recipe you've got to follow a recipe in order for it to come out nice i mean i i I love cooking anyway, and I love 
in business, I like to create so-called recipes in business. And I know that it works. I know it works because it's worked for my clients that have done really, really well. So it's not easy, but once you've got the income coming in, you'll be able to afford to pay for things to get your business to a scalable system, automated. And that's what we should do now. So you've been putting in the chat box, yes, 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 for the Action Wealth Guide, excellent. I'm so pleased to see that. We have our uh, scaling systems, which is um, also, we call it wealth planning, and it's for our seven-figure um, items as well. Uh, the price is £4,999. Um, you'll get in uh, the, some of the wealth planning in the 90-day, 12-week uh, program, but the scaling systems, the wealth planning is is huge. It is a big, it, it's just amazing. It really, really is. And I hope that you'll be able to, to join this new program that we've got. But I'm not going to go too much into it because I'm not here today to sell to you. What I want you to do is register for the free prize draw. I want you to book your free 15-minute uh, consultation uh, with myself or the team, for example but I'm starting to introduce some of our, our new products that we've got as well. I'm really excited because we've got a super massive product next month that's going to just blow you away. It is going to be amazing. Uh, the 90-day bidding is uh, £3,999. Uh, you can pay in installment. For example, it is for 12 weeks as well. So do book your free 15-minute consultation just to go through things, you know, talk about what it is you're doing, where you want to go. And I can talk to you quickly about how we can support you as well. If you know me, you know when you call, you know, I, I do give um, a lot away and I talk to you as well about what you can do to help. But also I want to hear from you what you're um, struggling with in terms of getting to the next step. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you for being here today. It has been such a pleasure and it's been my honor to be on here talking to you today. Uh, like I said, the NHS, the 90-day bidding program is £3,999. And like I said, you can pay in installments. I would like for you to be able to join us next week. Uh, we do have some spaces left. So do join us next week because on the 90 day bidding, you can book a free 15 minute consultation with a member of our team. They can also get you registered as well because it is important for you to be able to, to look at what your options are because care is increasing even more. We are living longer. One in three children that are born today are going to live to 100 years old. You know, the care sector, you know, this is so much it's needed. Uh, mental health has increased. You know, probably 75% of the population will be affected in some way or have some form of mental health in their lifetime, for example. So, you know, we need to be there to support one another, to be there for one another. And providing this type of service is so rewarding. It's so rewarding. You know, I always say to people to, to look at what your passion is and then do 
that as your passion rather than just think about the money aspect think about the passion the love and the quality of care that you're going to deliver money follows after that but you you know you looking at helping one another in the community is so rewarding that is the the most wealthiest thing that you could ever do and you can even have a team of staff delivering the care you're not the one that's going to be delivering the care you're going to be helping the community so i just want you all to to be aware of that and and be a part of of this care that we're providing become a care provider if you're not one already if you are then look at scaling look at other care that you can be provided you you know, healthcare technology is is huge right now. I mean, we're, we're going through the new program with healthcare technology and it's going to be global with huge leaders in the global market, in the international recruitment market is huge, not just the UK, this is worldwide. You don't have to be fixed in the UK. You can be anywhere in the world and live anywhere in the world and have a healthcare business because it is needed everywhere in the world. So I just wanted to mention that. So do, do um, subscribe and like our YouTube channel. I hope that you found today informative and helpful. And do look out for our next uh, web classes. We've got one, not next week, the week after as well. And we've got again, so we've got quite a few in August because we have got a super, super, super program that I want to share with you. I've just shared uh, some, some of it with you, but we've got a really amazing program because we want to have programs which are like for 12 months. I know 12 months may seem a long time to some people. So we've got programs which are three months, we've got programs six months, and we've got programs which are 12 months. And we're even looking at programs which are 18 months, because that's how serious that I want care providers to, to look at that aspect of their business, because you are climbing a mountain. Sometimes you feel like you're climbing Mount Everest. But if you've got the right equipment, then you'll be able to achieve that mountain. You'll be able to climb that mountain as well. So I hope you found that really, really helpful. And I am super excited to see you all here today. And I just want to say thank you and God bless to all of you. And have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday evening. Do subscribe to our channels, like our pages. Keep yourself informed because we are, I'm here to, to educate you as well as to tell you about what's happening now. What is working now is being automated, having teams, systems, so that you can have the best of the best and be the best in your healthcare business because that is number one, isn't it? You want to have a good reputation you want to have good clients not good clients sorry you want to have a good business you want to be able to support your clients so that you are providing a quality quality service and that is the key and your staff members are happy everyone is working it's a, a cog system and everything is working as it should be because you're automated you've got systems in place so i want to just say thank you everyone Thank you so, so much. Thank you. You will get the recording probably tomorrow because it's late now. And I say it's late because I go to bed early because I wake up at four in the morning because I need to. And I always have done. And that's just me. Okay, so it will be tomorrow that you get the recording. And um, you will also 
be able to book your free 15 minutes appointments with us. And yep, the events are on the Facebook page as well as uh, the registrations. Join our group page as well because there's lots of information on there. I am super excited. And I just wanna say, let's do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can scale to the next level. And that's what I'm here to help support you in as well. So have a good evening, everyone. And thank you so much for taking the time for being here today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look after yourselves. Thank you so much.